Neuroscientific Foundations of Physical Activity, Empowering Vietnamese Mothers in Finnish Transition Introduction The neuroscientific approach to physical activity offers profound insights into enhancing the well-being of Vietnamese mothers adapting to new lives in Finland. Specifically, this essay draws on relevant sections from An Introduction to Brain and Behavior by Brian Kolb and Ian Q. Wishaw and Insights from Brain Health and Cognitive Performance, Part 1 by Tala the Best and Louise Dai. Through these perspectives, we explore the intricate connections between physical activity, neurobiology, and cultural adaptation, providing practical guidance for Vietnamese mothers raising two boys in a new environment. First and foremost is the neurobiological basis of physical activity. Colbin Wishaw's work on an introduction to brain and behavior introduces fundamental neurobiological principles underpinning the positive effects of physical activity. During exercise, the release of neurotransmitters, such as endorphins and serotonin, plays a pivotal role in mood regulation and stress reduction, Colbin Wishaw, 2021. These neurochemical changes offer a natural and accessible means for Vietnamese mothers to improve their mental well-being, which is particularly important during the demanding transition to a new culture. Neuroplasticity, a concept central to Kolb and Wishaw's work, helps us understand how physical activity stimulates the brain to adapt and reorganize. This adaptability has far-reaching implications for cognitive function and mental health, providing a promising avenue for Vietnamese mothers to cultivate resilience in the face of cultural challenges. Second, physical activity and stress reduction. Building on Kolb and Wishaw's insights, regulating cortisol through exercise is crucial for stress management. Hillman, Erickson, and Kramer, 2008, emphasize the significance of regular physical activity in effectively modulating cortisol levels, contributing to stress resilience. This perspective becomes particularly relevant for Vietnamese mothers navigating the multifaceted challenges of cultural transition, providing a neuroscientifically grounded strategy to mitigate stressors. Furthermore, Erickson et al. 2011, highlight the impact of exercise on the hippocampus, a brain region associated with memory and emotional well-being. Stimulating the hippocampus through physical activity becomes a critical neuroscientific factor in promoting cognitive resilience and emotional balance during adaptation. Third, exercise as a social and cognitive stimulant. In Brain Health and Cognitive Performance, Part 1, Best and Die explores exercise's social and cognitive dimensions. Group activities and social interaction during exercise have been linked to increased neurotransmitter release and enhanced social connections, Best and Die, 2017. For a Vietnamese mother in Finland, engaging in group physical activities can provide a valuable avenue for building social connections and addressing the potential isolation that may accompany cultural adaptation. Moreover, cognitive benefits such as improved executive functions and cognitive flexibility, as discussed by Kalkholm and Kramer, 2003, present additional advantages. These cognitive enhancements contribute to mental understanding and adaptive thinking, which are crucial for successfully navigating the complexities of a new cultural environment. Number four is the tailoring exercise for cultural adaptation. Kolb and Wisha's emphasis on individual differences in neurobiology is crucial when tailoring exercise for cultural adaptation. Ryan and Desi's self-determination theory, 2000, adds a motivational perspective, suggesting that culturally relevant physical activities enhance intrinsic motivation and adherence. Mothers can create a sense of connection by integrating Vietnamese cultural elements into exercise routines, making physical activity more enjoyable and sustainable. Number 5 is not less critical, addressing time and resource constraints. Warburton, Nickel, and Breton, 2006, provide valuable insights into addressing time constraints by proposing short and effective exercise routines. Time-efficient exercises become essential considering the demands of parenting two boys in a new cultural setting. Additionally, utilizing local resources and facilities for physical activity aligns with the practical advice offered by Warburton et al., promoting community engagement and integration. The number six is the applying neuroscientific principles in daily life. The establishment of a sustainable exercise routine is critical for long-term well-being. 
Rhodes and Cates, 2015, suggest that the effective response to exercise can predict future motives and behavior, emphasizing the importance of creating realistic and achievable fitness goals. Consistency in physical activity enhances the neurobiological adaptations that contribute to overall well-being, providing a foundation for navigating the challenges of a new life in Finland. Number 7 is the most essential part, incorporating family into physical activity. Brown, Pearson, Braithwaite, Brown, and Biddle's study, 2013, supports the idea of family-friendly exercises for bonding and the neuroscientific benefits of shared physical activities. Integrating the family into exercise routines promotes a healthy lifestyle and fosters positive associations with physical activity. This approach is particularly relevant for a Vietnamese mother raising two boys, as it encourages a holistic approach to family well-being. Last but not least are the case studies and practical applications. Real-life examples of Vietnamese mothers successfully integrating physical activity into their daily lives in Finland serve as practical illustrations. These case studies demonstrate how tailored exercise routines improve well-being and cultural adaptation. These cases provide tangible insights for other mothers navigating similar transitions by showcasing the positive outcomes of neuroscientifically informed physical activity. Conclusion in conclusion, the neuroscientific approach to physical activity offers a profound framework for enhancing the well-being of Vietnamese mothers in Finland. Drawing on the works of Kolb and Wishaw, Best and Dai, and additional relevant studies, this essay highlights the intricate connections between exercise, neurobiology, and cultural adaptation. Tailoring exercise to individual and cultural preferences, addressing time constraints, and incorporating family into physical activities contribute to a holistic strategy for well-being. By integrating neuroscientific insights, Vietnamese mothers can cultivate adaptive resilience and foster healthier and more fulfilling lives in their new Finnish home.